to see my happy to see my belk there still open. I need my belks. I need to be able to go to my belk store. My Dillard's. Um, uh, my Dillard's. Uh, okay, but uh, we know it's going to be a rainy Saturday. It's a great time to go see a movie. I've been waiting for this movie. Those yeah. of us that love reading about the Kennedys uh, and with them. can't get enough of our American history uh, are going to mm. be interested in this film. Leo Smith joins us now. <laughs> Good morning, Brangeria. Um, <laughs> yes, hashtag Brangeria. Um, uh, welcome back. Thank uh, you, sir. You, you're absolutely right. The and you think about it, the death of John Kennedy was in '63. Uh, uh, Bobby Kennedy in '68, and this was more the they had their uh, tragedies all throughout the 60s. Yeah. This was in 1969. Um, I wasn't even aware of it, but this was right at the time that Apollo 11 was on its oh, way right. to the moon. Right, that was also 69. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, well, it, at the very same time. And I, I remember that, because that's the year my dad graduated high school, but for some reason I remember that. But I thought that there was an improper <laughs> relationship yeah, between Ted Kennedy and, and the victim in the, the car. the woman in the car. That was my impression. Mm -hmm. I never really knew that for sure, but I just assumed because they were Kennedys <laughs> and that's what they do, mm -hmm. or so history would have us believe. Um, however, I didn't see anything like that in the movie, but you're, we're not certain that everything in the movie was accurate uh, because they can only go on hearsay. But we'll give you a little further detail right now. Check this out. On July 18, 1969, the nation eagerly awaited as Apollo 11 approached the moon. But on Chappaquiddick Island in Massachusetts, a separate event was taking place that would also change the course of American history. Oh my God, what have I done? Until that point, it was almost a foregone conclusion that Ted Kennedy, the last living son of Joseph Kennedy, would soon become president. All hope of possibly restoring the dream of Camelot from his brother John's incumbency sunk into the water. There's not a lot of senators that are charged with manslaughter that go on to become president. Mary Jo Kopechny, a young lady who had worked for Bobby Kennedy just a few years earlier, lost her life that night. Could her death have been prevented? Possibly. But certainly not at 10 o'clock the following morning when it was finally reported to the police. There aren't any real big revelations in Chappaquiddick. However, it does provide an in-depth view of how Mr. Kennedy's story managed to change in a short amount of time. It's also a terrific showcase for actor Jason Clark, who bears a striking resemblance to the late senator. His look may have won him the role, but it's his vulnerability that sells it. Enough for a smiling emoji. Naturally, there are some disturbing images and a great deal of strong language. However, since I don't anticipate anyone under 30 attending this film, it probably won't be an issue. But for anyone who has an interest, I'd suggest going to see Chappaquiddick rather quickly before the summer invasion forces it off the entertainment highway. Okay. okay. Interesting. And House of Cards fans might <laughs> recognize Mary Jo. Yeah, yeah, Kate Mara. Mm -hmm, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, do you come off feeling um, sympathetic with yeah. Ted after watching this movie? Um, maybe. Or is he at, the villain? At times. Uh, well, no, it, it's um, you, you have moments of empathy. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so, so you can relate to what he's feeling. However, at the same time, you're like, come on. On, Ted, you know yeah. that's not the right thing Man to do. Man up, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Step up and do it, and because yeah. there are times he 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 wavers, he goes back and forth, and of course that adds to why he his story changes so much. All right, okay. might have to check that out on this rainy Saturday tomorrow. Yeah, Brandria might be seeing that movie this weekend. <laughs>